Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to DevKit Weekly, where this week we'll be reviewing Silicon Labs Bluetooth Express BGX13P Starter Kit. So the Bluetooth Express BGX13P Evaluation Kit is, you guessed it, based on the BGX13P Blue Gecko Bluetooth module. So what's cool about the BGX13P is that it is a Bluetooth 5 uh, module, which you can see here in the middle of the eval kit. And that means it contains a Bluetooth 5 radio that has a programmable output, output power, um, all the fives that are required by the Bluetooth 5 spec. But because this is a Bluetooth 5 device, this bad boy has a range of up to 200 meters. Of course, that's line of sight, but it's 200 meters for Bluetooth. What's really cool about the BGX13P is that it comes with a Scilabs Bluetooth 5 protocol stack and cable replacement firmware. So uh, note, uh, one of the potential use cases for this being that it's Bluetooth 5 is just to replace cables altogether. We'll talk about that in a second. But that cable replacement firmware runs Scilabs Gecko OS. And when you put all of that firmware and software together, what it means is that you don't really have to program at all to get this thing up and running. So in order to prove to you how amazingly simple it is to get uh, the BGX13P eval kit up and running and, and starting to prototype with it, um, I've downloaded this app called BGX Commander, um, which works specifically with uh, these BGX devices. And you can see the application right here. And so once I plug in uh, the eval kit, we're gonna scan for it and pick it up literally within a matter of seconds. So now, you know, just simple micro, micro USB power input. And uh, now I'm scanning on the uh, device. It found uh, the BGX. And once it's paired, right now you can see that there are, uh, um, we're in streaming mode, so we can stream data and information back and forth between the phone um, and the eval kit. You can also send commands. Um, if you had a terminal app open, um, you could be sending commands from uh, the BGX eval kit straight onto your phone and vice versa. You can also use uh, Simplicity Studio uh, to configure the BGX13P uh, with a tool inside of that um, IDE called Express Configurator Tool, uh, given that this is an Express uh, eval kit aptly named. And connecting to the computer over USB was made possible uh, by Scilab's CP2102N uh, USB Express IC, which is a USB to UART bridge controller. Um, and you can see that right here but behind the micro USB port. Other than that, when you're moving around the board, uh, there's obviously uh, that micro USB interface you just mentioned, um, a couple of push buttons here, and above them, um, some LEDs. There's also a reset uh, button up way here in the top. So it's also important to note that although the BGX13P eval kit can be used in standalone mode, like we just showed a minute ago, uh, if you want to do some more robust embedded design and development with a host MCU, uh, this expansion header lets you plug into the Silicon Labs uh, starter kits EFM8 or EFM32, um, and they have additional functionality to really start blowing out your um, Bluetooth 5 based design. All in all, wrapping this up, this little add-on board is a lot more than just an add-on, as you could see. Um, it can give you some really quick insights into the speed, uh, the range, and really the versatility of Bluetooth 5 technology, especially if you pair it with one of those other starter kits from Silicon Labs that I mentioned earlier. So if you're into developing consumer products, home automation uh, systems, or dare I say lighting maybe, um, the BGX13P eval kit is probably something uh, that you should check out. And for more information on it, you can go to www.scilabs.com forward slash start hyphen BGX. So scilabs, S-I-L-A-B-S dot com forward slash start hyphen BGX, um, or you can find it from authorized distributors for only $21.27. Of course, you could also get this one for free by entering this week's raffle, which you can find by find in the description below where you fill out a form and have a chance to win. So that's it for this week. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week on DevKit Weekly.